What's going on, people? Ryan Williams AC here with your match reaction. Aston Villa nil, Arsenal one. Guys, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. So, Arsenal bounced back against Aston Villa with one goal from Bakayo Saka. Fantastic goal from him. Um, yeah, overall, I thought it was a very good performance. I would have liked to have tested Emi Martinez a little bit more better. However, we got out there with the three points. I thought we played very well. Uh, there were a few hairy moments in the second half, of course. I think Aston Villa were poor. I didn't really feel threatened by them until probably later on in the second half. Um, yeah, I just felt we were well. I thought we'd done very well. Um, I felt maybe... Now, maybe nitpicking, but I, and that's against Aston Villa. I thought maybe Tyrone Mings kind of got a bit lucky there on that foul against Bakayo Saka. On another day, I think that might have been a red, but it is what it is. I thought John McGinn's tackle with Stubbs showing, I thought that was a bit reckless also, but it is what it is. Am I being... Am I being funny with that? Guys, let me know your thoughts down below on the ref's decisions for the card. Um, standout players for me. Saka, of course. Um, BT gave him mad in a match. Um, Thomas Partey, I thought, had a fantastic game. Uh, for me, I thought he done very well. Um, there were probably one or two moments where I felt, you know, the passing wasn't as 100% as it could have been. But I still think he played well. Um, giving away the foul at the edge of the box for the free kick, I thought that was a bit clumsy from Partey. But other than that, I thought he did very, very well in the midfield. I thought Erdegaard was more alive today. You know, I saw a lot of people kind of digging him out, uh, especially against Liverpool. And I'm thinking to myself, look at the opposition we're playing against Liverpool. You know, we know what Fabinho is like in the midfield. But I think, you know, today... He was there today. He was he was there. He was alive. He was well. His passing was good. And uh, yeah, good for Murder God. Um, Smith Rowe coming back in for the first half. I mean, he was, a, he was a goal threat. There was a chance that he had, but of course, Lacazette got in the way. I mean, either the two really could have taken a chance for that one, but it is what it is. But I felt Smith Rowe Played well, was a little bit rusty. As you can tell, he hasn't had a lot of game time. He's been sitting on the bench quite a bit. So, it is what it is. But I thought he played all right, if I'm honest. Um, the, back, the back four itself, I think if there was only one person that was kind of the weak link. And I'm going to get onto something in a second. It was probably Cedric. But Cedric, I think Cedric had a 50-50 game, if I'm honest. I thought he'd done okay at times. And then they were really exposing him. And then... I don't know, he made like a dumb challenge to even get a yellow, in my personal opinion. And I thought Ben White, Gabriel, made blocks and clearances in the most important chances. There was a chance in the first half where um, the ball was leaked over for the top for Watkins and Ben White literally cleared it out straight away. No nonsense, and that's fantastic from Ben White. Second half as well, there was a cross delivered into the box and Gabriel literally saved it. I mean, I think it might have been might have been when Traore came on the pitch. Excuse me. Um it might it might have scored that, but Gabriel dealt with that very well. Tierney had a good game. I thought, you know, personally, I think he's definitely gotten better over the last few performances. I know we've had our concerns with Kieran Tierney, but since he hasn't really been bombing up the pitch as of late, and he's kind of, you know, well, Jacques has been kind of, um, oh, sorry, overlapping, and that's the word I was looking for. I think it's kind of, kind of calmed down Tierney, and, you know, the more healthy Tierney is, the less intense he can be, you know, the better he stays healthy, but he had a good game today, I have to say. Um, but mainly my standout performers was Saka and Partey. I thought everyone else was fine. Lacazette, I didn't think he had a good game, if I'm going to be totally honest with you. There were chances I felt Lacazette had. There were misplaced passes. 
the touches. I just think Lacazette was absolutely awful today. I've got to be real with you. You know, uh, there was a there was a there was a golden chance in the second half, which sticks out in my mind, where he just went for goal and Pepe was right there next to him. Saka was still on the pitch. He was right there for him. He just he just chose to go for it himself. And I saw this with a Bamiyang earlier on during the season, or if I remember correctly, I can't remember who we were playing. It might have been Newcastle at home. It might have been, but. I remember Bamiang basically took the, took the goal when really Martin Erdegaard would have scored that, but he, he Bamiang touched it and of course he got written off offside. So it kind of really felt like that. At the if you look at both men, were desperate to score at that time. But Bamiang was on poor form, and of course he's having the form of his life right now at Barcelona. And then there's Lacazette right now who's struggling for form, you know. He scored a penalty against Leicester uh, last weekend. Didn't do well against Liverpool in the week during the week, and it just seems to continue. So, yeah, like I said, not not a great game for him again. But my thing is in this game, which I was most impressed with, was the way we kept Coutinho quiet. Coutinho hardly did anything in that game, or if anything. A few crosses and a free kicks. That was about it. Felipe Coutinho was kept quiet by Arsenal. And that was one of the danger men I said in the match preview that we really need to look at. You know, they made some late substitutions. Uh, Bailey came on. Traore came on. Uh, Danny Ings came on. A few of their danger men. And again, we kept them quiet. Danny, Danny Ings had half a chance of a header. That was it. And, you know, we had Martin out due to apparently had illness. And Ramsdale, Ramsdale was out because he'd done his hip in. Leno came back in. And if anything, Leno had a quiet game. He had a few catches. I thought his kicking was a little bit sloppy at times. But other than that, I think Leno did all right. Really didn't really have that much to do, if anything. Nothing really save-wise. I didn't really think anything crucial. Just caught the ball a few times. But if anything, it was good for Leno. To come back in, I mean, you ain't seen Leno playing for in the Premier League in quite a while, you know. So, all in all, great goal from Saka and a good performance from Arsenal. So, we go on into the international break. Um, what, four points clear for Manchester United who aren't playing this weekend. Of course, because Liverpool was their game, but of course, that's been postponed due to Liverpool playing in the FA Cup. And, of course, Tottenham and West Ham play tomorrow. But it gives us a little bit of breathing space, no matter who wins in that game tomorrow as well. My man in a match. Oh, it's so tough. I, 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 It generally is between Bakayo Saka and Thomas Partey. I thought Saka done excellent, especially in the first half. I thought he was absolutely fantastic. I thought he was much better um, than he was on Wednesday. Of course, he couldn't get a sniff away from Andy Robertson, but he kicked on, you know, he didn't go in like, oh, I couldn't get past Robertson and had a poor game, but, you know, he turned up today. Well done to him. Partey, I thought the second half, he was fantastic. Um, the passing as well from Partey, you know, I saw some great passes, I saw some not so great passes as well, but I thought he was fantastic. For me, I'm gonna I'm gonna edge it to Saka. Only because I thought the goal was fantastic. And if you look at the way he took it, it's such a crowd as well. I thought the I thought the play was good. It actually started from him in the free kick that he got from um I think it was Tyro Mings that fouled him. So or was it the Matty Cash? I think it was Tyro Mings. Correct me if I'm wrong, people in the comment section. But I thought he did ever so well. And it was just a great finish for Bakayo Saka. That's nine goals for him in the Premier League. And, I mean, he's going to keep on getting better and better. So, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe if you're new. And, of course, let me know your thoughts down below, as I just said. But all in all, Arsenal get the three points, and we can enjoy our weekend. And, of course, we can enjoy our break which I will be doing more content during the international break. So stay tuned on the channel for more. On that note, guys, I am signing off. And we can enjoy our sunny afternoon with three points. Take care, people.
Peace.